Hi, this is Nancy with On Point TV, and we're doing a little live today, and this is going to be something a little bit different. We have done some crafting videos along the way. Um, remember, we did epoxy, and then we've done paint pouring. I've done the painting on fabric, but this is something a little different. This is using alcohol ink, so i got to tell you how this came about. I am scheduled to teach at Houston Festival, Quilt Festival, down in Houston the end of October. And I'm doing quite a variety of classes down there. I would love, love, love to see everybody down there. Um, my goal here is to keep teaching all over the place. I want to travel and teach. So if you want to hire me, you know how to get a hold of me. Okay, so one of the classes I'm teaching is called The Wonders of Alcohol Ink. Well, my intention with this class is to do projects like this. So kind of artsy projects. Oh, Athena says a little bit higher. So I'm just going to show you a few of the ones I've been working on. Alcohol ink is very, very popular. If you want to see how to do some of these kind of projects, like this one is a new landscape one I just did. Um, and like this. So if you're interested in knowing, wanting to know how to do any of that kind of project, I'm very proud of these last ones. I've got to show you these last ones. So these ones I just did yesterday. So how's that? All right. And then I even did one in purple. So these are done with alcohol ink on a non-porous surface. So for the most part, I'm using what's called UPO paper. Y-U-P-O. And then there's, um, from graphics, there's some craft plastic. So there's, and you can do it on metal. And, and you can do alcohol ink on wood. There's lots of things that you can do. The most popular way to use alcohol ink is, like I said, on these non-porous surfaces. But the truth is, is there's so much you can do. It's just like any other permanent ink on, on any surface. But this happens to have alcohol in it. In the world of mixed media and paper crafts, it's huge. I mean, absolutely huge. You can go online, type in alcohol ink, and you will just see a huge array, some of the most amazing artistry you've ever seen. Well, where I'm going is quilt market, right? So they're quilters, but yet this class is sold out. So people want to take the class, but I, yes, I'm going to teach them how to do this on UPO paper, but I thought they might just be interested to see how alcohol ink performs on fabric. So the most popular way to use alcohol ink on fabric is on silk. Now it can be done on cotton and I'll show you a little bit of what I do with that, but it's really honestly a little bit too expensive to go on fabric. If you want to dye more things, of bigger pieces of fabric, there's Dynaflow from Jacquard. There's the painting that I do on fabric. There's um, Procyon dyes, all these other things. So ink is a little, honestly, a little too expensive to do bigger pieces of fabric that you might make a quilt. But how about for a scarf? So this is the scarf that I already did. It is a silk scarf and all of these fabulous colors are the colors of the alcohol ink. Now it um, works beautifully. It's just as soft as ooh, silk's supposed to be. Um, Cause you know, you wash it and stuff, it dries and stuff. It's absolutely fabulous. And I am using one of these silk scarves from Jacquard. Now, Jacquard also happens to be the company that I love their paints. That's what I do most of the painting on the fabric that I do with. They also have some alcohol inks. Um, I'm not actually going to use the Jacquard alcohol inks just because I didn't have those colors in mind. Um, but this is where it comes from. It is a already rolled hem, so it's ready for you to use. So I've got it folded here, and I'm going to put it on... Is that location good? All right, so I'm putting it on a piece of glass. So this is a caterpillar tempered glass. It's something that crafters use quite often. I've taken the scarf and I folded it in half, folded it in half again, and then I'm folding it in half one more time. Now you might wonder how in heaven's sakes is that ever gonna get all the way through to the bottom? Just wait and see. So the alcohol, the inks that I'm gonna use are from Ranger. So these are alcohol inks from Ranger. If you've never heard of the company Ranger, that means that you're not into paper crafting. In paper crafting world, they're huge. Another one is the Copic markers. Now these markers are what, the markers are what many, many, many manga artists use and graphic artists use. They're like $8 markers. They're absolutely fabulous alcohol ink. But then they also have refills. So this is a refill for the Copic markers. 
afford they're actually more affordable than the smaller bottles but you have so much more ink so there's so many different ways so jacquard has some ranger has some copic has some bria reese has some there's a lot of them out there another thing you'll need is 91 percent isopropyl alcohol i think i said that word right it's bill and i go back and forth did we say that right um it's a little different than rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol can work, but this 91% is just more efficient because it's stronger. Now I have taken that 91% isopropyl alcohol and I just put it in a spray bottle and I did mark it as alcohol so that I don't kind of forget that maybe it's water at some point. So this is my alcohol spray bottle. And then I'm just gonna use the end of this paintbrush. So you're just gonna be blown away by how easy this is. I am taking the ink straight out of the bottle and I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm just going to put dots of ink down and you'll see how much it uses. That's why I'm saying it's a little bit more expensive than if you wanted to do, you know, some bigger pieces. Like if you were making fabrics that you wanted to quilt with, I would recommend that maybe you learn to actually paint the fabric like I do or use some of the Dynaflow. I love Dynaflow from Jacquard. Really, really fabulous way to make um, color some fabrics in bigger, bigger sections. And I've done that before. I don't think that we've actually done it on the show. Maybe I'll do that at some point. So I'm just putting it down. But here's the thing is it's actually soaking all the way down through to the bottom. I'm going to take some of this butterscotch. Put a little bit in there. here and then I'm going to use some of that Copic ink. Here's and the other thing with um, alcohol inks it doesn't matter what brand they all work the same so don't worry about oh my goodness could I use this brand with that brand can I use alcohol um, uh, Jacquard along with the Ranger yep you sure can they're totally all work together so now it's covered but I'm not quite done oops I'm going to do this little bit over here with a little bit of yellow. I love the color combination. Keep your colors simple. Don't try to put too many colors in at once. Now I'm going to do the alcohol in the spray bottle. And that's going to get it all to really, really blend. Right. And I like to use my paintbrush just kind of to dip down. I'll see like over here how it did not get down over there yet. So I'm going to come over here maybe with some alcohol. Oh, also they say that you're supposed to use this, do this in a well-ventilated area. Yeah, and I'm in my basement studio. Athena is wiping some of the fumes away. It's alcohol. Um, it's not like she hasn't smelled alcohol before. She'll be fine. All right, a little bit more. I'll take here. one for the team. Yeah, she's taking one for the team. There we go. Go team. Gonna get a little bit more over here. This is going all the way down inside. You can actually even do a little bit with. Oops, didn't mean to do that. A little bit with um, alcohol markers so if you have Copic markers you could add some dots with Copic markers I've seen that done before now there is a lot of um, videos out there for doing alcohol markers on paper and on mixed media but there's really not that many out there there is a couple for doing this on fabric and there's some really cool designs so I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around get things to mix up just a tad bit and then you're not going to believe this, but I'm done. I'm done. I would actually leave this here to dry just like that till it's mostly dry. So I'm going to open it up just a little bit so you can see how cool it looks. I mean, look at those colors and it will keep those colors. I am going to leave it here to dry. Now I mentioned that I sometimes will do it on cotton. So this is my pickup cloth. This is a piece of cotton that I've been using. So when it dries, all of this on my glass mat will be um, still there and I'll spray it with some of that isopropyl alcohol and I'll be able to clean it up and it will then get then onto this piece of cotton. Well, guess what? Now I do have a piece of cotton and I admit, I kind of muddied my colors. I was using them all over the place. I don't know if you can tell, but this was actually, wait a minute, which way can you tell better? Nope, yep, this way. This was actually a white on white fabric and I just started using it as my pickup cloth when it's got as much color. I, like I said, I muddied the waters a little bit more than I should have. Um, just wash it with a little bit of water and then heat set it. The silk, 
is done. I'm going to leave it here for a while. I don't know how long it takes. It doesn't take that long because silk always dries so much faster. Um, then I'm going to heat set it with my iron a little bit, wash it out because it will still smell a little bit like alcohol and you don't want to go to work with. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and then it's as beautiful and soft as ever and it's totally permanent. You can be able to wash it forever and ever just like you would any other silk thing or the cotton just like that. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm done. That is how you dye a silk scarf with alcohol inks. There's so, so much you can do with alcohol inks. This is just one of the many things. If you're interested in any of those pieces that I did, those kind of art pieces, that is just touching the tip of the iceberg. There is so many beautiful, beautiful alcohol artists out there. Type on YouTube alcohol ink and I swear you will be binge watching for days and days and days on end. That's all I got for you today. Have a great day.